to shout, and you know that we say a little prayer before we start the Holy show every day. Spirit, and we are down so grateful. Yeah. And, and we just had a moment, so yeah. yeah. We love each we're other just very so much, and we're grateful. Yeah. We're so grateful for this platform. We're grateful for all of you here in the audience. We're grateful for you watching at home. So the next question is, are you ready for some live girl chat? Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to head on over to The Real's daytime Instagram page and use the hashtag GirlChatLive to join in on the conversation. I'll be watching what all of you have to say and include you in the conversation. Now, if you watched the show yesterday, you saw us give $1,000 to a lucky real yes, fan in did. Miami yes. who hurried over to Mar our hunk, hurried over to the hunk, Marcel. <laughs> and uh, look what I have here, you guys. What is what? it? What? What you got? little fan go with my outfit. I know. Like <laughs> All right, but guess what? This is not for me, you guys. This is to give away to another lucky viewer. That's right. It's the return of the reels. Dala holla back. If you don't know what the dollar holla back is, you guys, here's how it works. All this week, The Real has been celebrating moms, and I heard one place that has some pretty amazing moms is Atlanta, ATL <laughs> shot it. Atlanta. So, heads up, Atlanta. If you're watching this in your Atlanta, you gotta listen up, because I'm about to shout out one lucky mom's name and her Instagram handle. If you hear your handle, you have until the end of the show to message us back on Instagram. Make sure to tag us at The Real Daytime so we can get notified. If you holla back at us in time, you are going to win this thousand dollars. <laughs> are you ready? Who yeah. is it? Okay, today, we wanna hear from... Who, who, who? Chanel Mitchell, whose Instagram handle is at covergirl underscore Coco. Okay. Nice. Now, Chanel, Ooh, if you are watching, <laughs> head on over to the Real Daytime's Instagram page and DM us right now. Now, if anybody watching knows Chanel, you better tag her, wake, wake her up, up, call her if you're in the bed with her, shake her, something, okay? Because she needs to get this. Slap money bag, money bag, money bag. What's up, handle again? Okay, Coco her handle Chanel. is. It was something. The handle <laughs> is at covergirl underscore Coco Chanel, start hitting her in DMs. Whatever you gotta do, let her know that she needs to get this money, honey. Yeah. 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 Now, the second we hear from Chanel, we'll break into the show and let everybody know. Good. Yeah. Oh my so gosh, awesome. I can't wait till she calls in. I got your money, girl. <laughs> All right, speaking of money, so many celebrities look like a million bucks yes. at last night's Met Gala. I feel like you would have loved the yes. scene so much yes. because it was Heavenly Bodies, fashion, and the Catholic imagination. Beautiful. Which was meant to create a dialogue between fashion and religious art. Mm. Stunning. So many people, like Rihanna, who helped chair the event this year, they actually stole the show wearing a Pope-inspired yes. mini yes. dress Look at that. and jacket with a matching hat by Mesa Margiela. Other standouts from the night included Kim Kardashian, who wore a gold, skin-tight, liquid Versace dress. Dripping in gold. Yeah, yes. that, that was the heavenly body right there. <laughs> Come on. Okay. And Jennifer Lopez, who I really love, went love all out Ooh. wearing a bedazzled Balmain gown. Yeah. Yo, you guys, even Cardi B showed off her baby bump wearing a jewel-covered dress. Great. From Moschino designer Jeremy Scott, Beautiful. while Nicki Minaj looked amazing wearing an Oscar Whoa. de la Renta red sequin gown. So despite any rumors you may have heard, there was no bad blood between Cardi and Nicki. The two ended up chatting up a storm at the gala, which I love to see. I There's so many videos on the net. come together. Seeing, yes, it, that was perfect, because that's what we need. That's Women in the yes. right? Absolutely. Next up is, is, a, is a duet. Yes. Right? Yes. Can't wait so for that. For you guys, I know you were sitting there scrolling, refreshing. Who was it that stood out to you at last night's gala? Oh my gosh, there were so many. Yes, yes. Um, I loved Blake Lively. Yes. yes. She looked absolutely she gorgeous. Did you hear so I love her head her dress. dress. I heard that it took like 600 hours to make it. Yes, and, and she, tried she on over Yes, look times. at that. Yes. Yes. And yes. her dress was so large, you guys, that she had to show up in a party bus. Yes. yes. So her dress even had <laughs> some pride. Because you can't have a wrinkle. You can't have, I no. mean, this is the look Super Bowl of fashion. You gotta come Beautiful. pressed in dress. And she, she killed it. Stunning. Yes. 
Zendaya. Oh, Zendaya. I Come thought on. her take on Joan of Arc yes. was so modern, so chic, and uh, it was different. And I love that she always comes through doing something different. Love, love, love Zendaya. Give it up to Look at her. Oh. Yeah. And she yeah. stayed in Luxury character. Luxury law kills it all the he time. Actually... She stayed in character the yes, whole yes. night. It was awesome. He said, and you know, when a stylist builds a bond with their muse, I, like, I love seeing that that symphony that begins to happen. And he said that she loves drama, so he wanted to get the most dramatic type of piece for her. So he asked Versace to give him sketches of things that were very Joan of Arc-esque. Mm -hmm. They sent dozens of sketches in. They picked it down to two. She decided on that last night, which I just love that flurry of like going to bed wondering which one you're going to wear. Right. And um, wow. Versace, Atelier Versace, you guys are such a piece of art. You guys did a beautiful piece on Celine Dion with Luxury Law last year. I can't wait to see Luxury Law just completely take it to the top. Yeah, he's You're amazing. sick. Yeah. You really yeah, are. Really Can amazing. we talk about Sarah Jessica Parker with that nativity oh, yes. scene on top of her head? I mean, she, hey, she didn't pull out any stops, man. Was... You know, Carrie Bradshaw wore a bird <laughs> on her head for her wedding, so <laughs> this doesn't shock Jump me. Jumpman. That's the yeah. nativity scene yes. and um, on top Wonder of her head. Wonder if it was heavy. Yeah, I, Do you wish stuff? there was like a little key so you could actually play some music? Ding, 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 ding. Okay, yeah, yeah. and then Madonna, Madonna had an interesting outfit on. Um, you know, her I she, a little she made for her. This yeah. is made for this. She was in theme at least. Yeah, yes, she was. Yes. And you, a lot of people didn't um, wear the theme because I, I think, hate. but I think because it was because there was some issue with it being religious. So I there think was that that's why. Behind it, for yeah. sure. What was the controversy? What were they saying? Just the fact that you you are going to depict you know, Catholic art, and sometimes yeah. it then becomes revealing, sexy, you're mixing it with got slits. It. But then here's the thing, you guys, they got the stamp of approval from the Vatican themselves. So it's all good. The Vatican themselves were like, art is fashion. We love that you are incorporating us. You're paying homage to it. So everything was seen as very respectful, tasteful, and in the likeness of the, the person wearing it. Yeah, and I just, and being a person that throws parties with themes, please come in the outfit. Yes, <laughs> and follow the theme. <laughs> Well, I mean, some people, you know, it makes they're it like not that. Fun. But we also want to talk about the, there were videos from inside that I really yes. liked. Um, Ooh, the lobster, yeah, and the wagyu beef. It was Ooh. one that was like really, really lit, and um, I think it's the John Boyer one. Oh yeah, um, okay. The, the guy in Star Wars. Yes. Yeah. If we have that, we can cue that one up. That's him, Michael B. Jordan. There's wow. Black Panther, Selena Waithe. I mean, and then look real close. Look. What? 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 The Caucasian woman? Well, not, not, what? That's Frances McDormand. Oh, That's we love her. her. Frances McDormand is lit. In She's the lit. <laughs> so, you know, I thought that was great that, that they gave up. us a little taste of what happened on the yeah, inside. Yeah. So yeah. it was a good year, yes. I think. Um, Beyonce, why do you think Beyonce didn't come? I don't know. I don't, maybe I she's no preparing idea. for her upcoming tour. Maybe. Yes. maybe she, she needs rest, you guys. She just you know, I mean, had Coachella twins two. and then killed it at Coachella. Oh, yeah. Maybe this is her time just to lay low and get ready and for slow it down. to kill it. Okay. Again. Again. Yeah. Again. Yeah. Exactly. They all look fabulous last night. So beautiful. And someone else who looks always fabulous is who? Michelle Obama. Yes. And this past weekend, the former first lady had the opportunity of Women's Summit, and in a conversation with Black and Star, Tracy Ellis Ross discussed the inequalities women still face in the workplace. Mrs. Obama said, quote, I wish that girls could fail as bad as men do and be okay because let me tell you, watching men fail up, it is frustrating. Mm. It's frustrating to see a lot of men blow it and win. Ladies. Blow it and win, yeah. Wow. Oh. Do you yeah. think... Michelle Obama is right about a double standard when it comes to women. You know, it's, you know. Um, I do. I absolutely agree with her. Um, I think not only is that true for women, but minorities as well. Mm -hmm. um, having the fear to fail is one of the things that I have been struggling with my entire life, actually. One, because I'm very, like, type A, and I, and I want to be perfect, and I had this disease to please. Uh. Um, but... I gotta say, what's so great about the place that we work is that it's surrounded by so many women, you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, look at this, I mean, panel. The, yeah. Our table has so many amazing women, and I feel like we've created a safe place to make you know, mistakes. Yeah. Sometimes we kill it on this table. Sometimes we may go off on a tangent. <laughs> um, but the fact is, is we feel safe. And when you feel safe, you're allowed to take risks. And when you take risks, that's when you learn and grow about yourself. And then you're able to look fear straight in the face, yeah. head on, and kill it. And then you're allowed to fly yes. and to just jump into your purpose. Yeah. So I am so grateful.
people for this yeah. safe place. Yeah. And I think it's about time that women of stature like her call out. Because it used to be a time when women, you know, they were like, no, we're not gonna say anything. But it's time for us to call it out. So I, I, I applaud all women who are in a different space to call out what's happening, because yeah. that's how change really happens, yeah. is by calling it out. Yeah. 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 I, agree. I had the honor of um, attending this event. I uh, hosted and opened up the, the, open, uh, the breakout of the entire you know, weekend. And I have to tell you, Thousands of women, it was sold out. Thousands of women came from all over the world to make sure that they were here to be sharpened by all these female leaders. When Michelle Obama came out, pe women started crying just because uh, she went out onto the stage and kept it very much like this. They were mm -hmm. talking almost like you forgot that they were on stage. It yep. felt like very cocktail hour. It felt very like casual girl. Tracy Ellis Ross, you killed it mm -hmm. in being able to lead that conversation. But when she said that, it made me immediately think about all the female leaders that I love that's that, that either wrote a book or stepped out on telling us about their leadership. And I realized that a lot of female leaders get typecasted about the type of leader they are. Mm -hmm. If they're bossy, they're a bitch. Mm -hmm. if, they're, um, if they're mean all the time, then, oh, she's always PMSing. Mm -hmm. You know, even Sheryl Sandberg, the CEO, COO of Facebook, wrote a book called Lean In, yeah. just to be more compassionate, to sit and, and actually pay more attention to your employees. And she got backlash for leaning in, and people started writing blogs about leaning out, be more assertive, be more boss. Like, you can't do anything right. At the end of the day, out of 500 U.S. top-ranked Fortune 500 companies, mm -hmm. guess how many female CEOs there are? 24. Wow. So I just want to say in perspective for us, women and men, don't judge the leadress before you, that woman, that queen before you. Let her have her space. Let her lead the way she does, right? And give her that light to shine because we need more females to step out onto the top. Yes. We need that. Let her do it her way, man. That is so great. But you know, it's always been, you know, it's always been that way with women, and especially women of color. It's always been hard. And I think that, like I said, what you're saying, you know, I just try to take people and I try to use examples. Like when I worked at Xerox, um, we had our first CEO. Her name was Ursula Burns. And she, I believe she's still the CEO there. She worked so hard, but she worked from like, like a, a beginning engineer mm. and worked her way up. So it is possible. There it are is. examples. We yes. just have to keep pushing yes. and we have to call it out. And that's why it's good to do this. Yes. Yes. So. Yes. He's given us so the great. chance yes. to be great. Yes. Yep. Well, from the naked truth to just being naked. <laughs> oh no. What? Oh no. Where are we going, you guys? A married <laughs> couple in the UK, Karen and Jay Stone, recently got into it with their neighbors over a very revealing issue. Uh -oh. The couple had a handwritten note slid under their door that said, quote, would you please close your blinds when getting dressed or undressing? We are sick of seeing your big bum, big boobs, and little willy. Oh, oh Lord. Yeah. Oh, you went below the belt on yes. that one. And we will report you both for indecent exposure. Signed, your neighbors. Well, the offended couple decided to respond to that note with a note of their own that said, quote, stop looking through our windows, you peeping Tom. Yes. Signed, your neighbors. Yes. So ladies, who do you think is in the right here? Are you kidding me? It, if it's my house and I'm paying my rent, paying for my window and showing off my body, you gotta close your eyes and buy some curtains. <laughs> but why don't they have curtains? Yeah. yeah. No, I'm saying like, we Why obviously, don't the... we've discussed that we don't mind walking around naked. Yes. Totally fine. But I'm gonna close the curtains, no? I think you should be aware of what's going on. You know, I mean, even if you have a house and you yes, walk and around, you and it's your window. house, yeah. just, just kind of be aware, because some kids can be outside looking and all that Well, the kind kids of need stuff, to know where they you know? came from, so. No. Oh my God, oh, come on. <laughs> I feel like at a certain age, Jeannie, not, not like at three or four. I just, I just feel like, you know, just close the curtain. Everybody don't want to see everything. You, oh, I hear you. No, that's but the super... shade of Little Willie, that's hilarious. Yes. I, I would that cover up. Funny, funny that you watching. didn't say anything about that in I the know, response. Right? He didn't say, and by the way, I don't have a Little Willie. No. <laughs>